every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials are about IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hausa. What's up guys, in today's video we will learn how to play some sound of a buzzer. You'll see how to control the tone and duration of one along with a button to play around with. The schematic. This week's schematic consists of two circuits. The buzzer, pretty straightforward to me, and the button. You should have seen that one in one of my previous videos. I really like to use buttons to play around with. Don't worry if you don't have the same buzzer like in the picture or in my video. It really doesn't matter as long as they have only two pins, then you should be fine. Declaring. Like usual, we will start by declaring our buzzer and the button. Let's set the buzzer to pin number 3. Like so. And the button to pin number 2. Ok, now on to our setup. Firstly, let's set the pin mode of our buzzer to output and our button to input. And lastly, like always, we start our serial monitor at a baud rate of 9600. This makes sure we are able to debug in the serial monitor. On to our void loop. Firstly, let's start with a quick little serial dot print to let the monitor know that we are going to read out our buzzer. Now let's actually read out our pin. When this is done, let's open up an if statement and let's check if our integer button is equal is equal to high, so meaning that the button is pressed down. Now before we make our buzzer buzz, let's write out another serial.print to let us know we pressed the button. Like so. Now let's make our button actually buzz. Now let's write an else and print out again, but this time that the button is not pressed. Ok great, now in the first time, well in the first if statement if part, we made our buzzer buzz. The function tone expected the pin, the pin number, and the frequency. The frequency can be a number between 0 and 65,000, but already going above uh, 10,000 is already pretty difficult to hear unless you're a kid or you have some super ears or something. That's why I chose for 3000. That's an ideal frequency to hear for this example. Now if you want to create a delay, you'll have to do the following. Now the last number 500 is for the duration. You always want to set this to 500 to create a delay after this line. You want to add a delay of let's say 1000 milliseconds, but what this, what this will actually do is multiply your duration with your delay, but you have to do your calculation in seconds. So 1000 milliseconds, let's turn this into 1 and 500 into 0 0.5. So meaning 1 times 0 0.5 equals to 0 0.5. Meaning your delay will only last half a second. So let's take this in account when creating your delay. So now let's add the delay of 1000. Now let's try and run this. And be sure to know that the delay is actually half a second. And when you hold down the button, the delay stops. And the tone stays the same. Now let's release this. And it's back to half a second. Now let's try and change this to 4000. Let's upload this. And be sure to know that the delay has changed to every 2 seconds. Well, that the buzzer buzzes every 2 seconds. By the way, 
the reason why I put the tone without the delay in the if statement where you have to press the button is just because if the button isn't held down and the buzzer is buzzing for like 5 seconds in the same tone it will annoy the hell out of you so that's why also the fact that you can make your buzzer buzz on different frequencies means that you can create your own little melodies so I'll leave a link in the description down below for you to check out what to do now go to Amazon and buy yourself a buzzer a button some resistors wires and waste a lot of money or buy the original Arduino Uno starter kit or the cheaper version link will be in the description there should be an affiliate link and a normal link the affiliate link meaning I will get a small percentage of the price that you're paying for referring you to the product this does not mean the price is higher for you so don't worry but if you want to support me definitely go and use that link to buy the Arduino Uno and or starter kit as well there will be a link to my patreon page containing all of my files that I used in today's video such as the fritzing scheme and the Arduino code link for that down below or on screen so that's it for today guys don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one Goodbye world.